Hey guys! We are here for our first online Ballet One class. And I'm Miss Gabe, as you know, and this is Tyler and Harley here to help me. Can you guys say hi? Hi. And so we're going to do everything we normally do would do as if we were in the studio. So follow along at home and send us videos and pictures of you guys practicing. Um, so we'll start with our stretches. Find a spot on the floor. And we're going to put our feet in tight position, pointing our toes as hard as we can, sitting up tall on our side, and flex them up, and point them down, and flex them up, and point them down. Tyler, can you move towards me a little bit? Flex them up, and point them down, and flex them up, and point them down. Keep going up, and down, up, and down, and up, and down. Now three quarter, just toes. Flex up, three quarter, and point. Three quarter, and up, three quarter, and point. Three quarter, and up, three quarter, and point. Three quarter, and up, three quarter, and point. Flex them all the way up, heels off the floor, squeeze for eight, seven, six, very nice, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, shake it out for a minute. And grab your opposite hand to touch. Lift it up, trying to keep that knee nice and straight, the spine straight. Reach behind you if you can. Good, something a little different we've not done in this class. If you can't do it yet, you're just working towards it. Grab that with the other way on your foot. Bend your bottom knee in. Take your right hand and go through the tunnel. If you need to bend your knee, that's okay. You can bend your knee to do this. Then you're going to try to wrap it around and put it behind your shoulder. Bend your bottom knee. It'll help you tie. Bend your bottom knee. Mm -hmm. That'll get, and then put your other hand on the floor to stabilize yourself. Yeah, it's not easy. You'll get it. You'll get it. He's going to get it. <laughs> and bring it back and put it down. Then we're going to grab your other foot. Lift it up, leg nice and straight. Reach back, try to straighten out your spine. So lift the collar in your back. Keep that knee nice and straight, Harley. And then switch the position of your hand. So it's on the outside, tight on the outside. Grab your foot, bend your knee. And then take your hand through the tunnel. Bend the bottom leg. So watch what this hand does. It goes to the floor and it helps me stabilize me. Ugh. Yeah. yeah, so there, try that's okay if you do it with a bent leg to start. This is not easy. Yeah, one side is not going to feel right, and then one side is going to... Every yeah. side is different. And then put it down. Okay, then we're going to stretch our legs in front of us and grab our toes tight. Position deep breath in. I want you to think about not only grabbing your toes, but pulling your elbows to the floor. So ready, deep breath in. Deep breath out, pull your elbows to the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, toes up, Harley. Three, two, one. Good. Butterflies. Grab one foot, stretch it out. And your other foot. Stretch it out. And put your feet together. Let's turn face this way so we can say hi to everybody. Nice and tall and stretch forward bellies onto your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Knees all the way down, seven and eight. <laughs> and stand up and you guys slide into your middle split. Hold yourself up on your forearms. Oh. Wherever you are, good time. Just like Tyler. And come all the way down. Knees are up to the sky, pointing your toes. It's much better. And hands in front of you. And reach your right arm, quarter bra all the way over to the side. Quarter bra all the way over to one side. Knees standing up to the sky, and then quarter bra all the way to the other side. Knees staying up to the side, stretching forward, bellies on the floor or as far as you can. 
wake up your frogs. So push. And come down. Now I want you to push up into your plank position. Push up into plank. And come down. Because we have boys in this class, we're going to do 10 of these. Ready? Here we go. Push. One. And down. Two. So Tyler is doing a regular push-up position. Harley's doing a Pilates push-up. Try the different ways. If you put your elbows in towards your body or if your elbows are pointed out. And down. And three. And down. And four. <laughs> Come on, guys. Down. Five. Down. Six. Seven. Belly's tight. Lift your belly up. Eight. Nice. Nine. Ten. Shake out those arms for a minute. Woo! Pilates push ups are way more hard than the regular push ups. Well, I think they're, yeah, they're, it's just yes. different muscles. Different muscles. All right, lay on your bellies and arch, arch your backs up facing the front. Face the front, arch your backs. Touch one toe to your head, or try to. Oh, he's getting closer than you are. <laughs> and your other toe to your head. And both toes to your head. Oh, there you go, Harm. And come down. Grab your feet, pull yourself up into your highest basket. And if you want to rock while you're there, rock and roll. One, two, three, and four. Good. Rest your back for a minute. Curl into a little ball. All right, you're going to go onto your backs and push up into a bridge position. If you feel like you're slipping, you can always put your feet against a wall. Good, nice bridges, guys. And come on down. Tuck your knees into your chest. Rock and roll. Good, come up on your hands and knees. Let's turn and face towards the trees. Show me your right splits, please. in French.
Squeeze the knees. Good. Show me four so today's in the first, please. One, two, three. Good. Second position feet, second position arms. Elbows are what? Higher than the hands. That doesn't mean we need to lift the shoulders though, so this is a hard thing. There you go. Elbows up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Show me so four so today's in a second. One, open those knees. Don't let your booty stick out. Straighten your knees in the air. Three, and four. Third position, feet low, third arms. Elbows are higher than your hands, squeezing the knees tight. A little bit higher. No, good. And can you show how your hands should be? Remember, middle, your hands were perfect. They were nice and soft. Middle finger to thumb, and then pinky finger slightly out. High turn. Shoulders down. Fourth position, arms and feet. Make sure the knees are nice and straight. There you go. It's a little big. We can pull it in just a little bit and then cross the front foot over so it matches up with the toe. So see this heel? It should be lined up along the knee so you don't fall over. There you go. Lined up, but not hips nice and square to the mirror. Yep. Fifth position, arms and feet. It needs to go all the way to the toe now. Can you squeeze it to the toe? Yep. Squeeze your knee nice and tight, especially the back knee. Pull that back knee nice and straight. Good. And sixth position. Excellent. Okay. Shake it out for a minute. And we're going to bring out our bars. So let's see. Just need one bar. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you do not have a bar at home, which most of you don't, just get a chair. Do it at the table. Don't, don't use a bar at all. Do you, what, if you don't have anything like that either, but a chair or a table would be just fine. The side of a couch, your countertop you could hold on to. The bar is just there to help you, support you, so you're not falling all over the place. Okay, we can do over there. All right, so we're gonna do our plies facing the bar today. So we'll go what we normally do, demi plie, straight, demi plie, straight, releve up, hold your arms, buttercups up, and come down, wrong plie, one, down two, heels three, straight four, same thing in second, same thing in fourth, same thing in fifth, and then we'll press up two, what is this called? Susu. Susu, good, at the end of this combo, I'm gonna ask you some vocab questions. They will answer, Later, a little bit later, they're going to give you guys a chance to call it out in case you know the answers. Yeah? Okay, so I'll start with your first position arms on bar, not on the bar. <laughs> Bellies are lifted. Knees are nice and straight. Hands on the bar. Ready, Demi Plie. 
shake it out. So if you if you want, we're not going to do it on tape today, but you can do fourth and fifth with your other foot in the front so that your body is completely even. Yeah, so you can back it up or do it without music on your own. Okay, don't answer right away. What does Debbie Plie mean? Hold your body up nice and tall if you can. 
Stretch it up. Mm -hmm. And bring it down. Bend it. Bend it to me. Hold your leg. And then stretch it up again. And put it down. Good. Shake it up. We are going to do the other side with music here. Yeah? Just if you're at home, take a little chasse around your room. Move around a little bit. So guys, just chasse. Just chasse. Try not to farm or chasse. Yeah? Point your toes. Point your toes. Touch it. Point. Point as you, as you step out. That's the hard part, right? Point as you step out. Okay, let's do the left leg now. First position. Belly's in. Did you feel a little wobble in those knees? Did you feel that tight? And then by the end, you fixed it. Can you do that for me? Keep it so straight the whole time. Yeah? So you're squeezing in your muscles. Everybody at home, same thing. Do it with your tie? In the front. 
Knees facing to the side, hold your shoulders nice and square. Close back, brush, close back, brush, close back, brush, close back. Now to the side, we have to do the close the first one where? Tighten, remember? Back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the first one goes where you came from because we came from the back. The second one, hold on, you're going that foot right here. Rotate. Feel that? Close in the front. Brush. Rotate. Yes, close in the back. Brush. Rotate. Get your leg way up to the side. Close in the front. Good. Shake it out. Okay, so let's see if you can do it on your own with the left foot. Left foot in the front, please. Quickly. You need to move over, you'll kick the bar. Ready? Six, seven, eight. Brush what? Four on four. Ah! And a one. Close. Two. Close. Three. Close. That's it, Ty. Four. Close. Whoa. How many are we doing? A four. There's that counting thing. You gotta, you gotta do that <laughs> counting thing. One. Rotate. Close in the front. Good. Two, close in the back. Three, close in the front. Four, close in the back. We brush back, close in the back. Brush back, close in the back. Brush back, close in the back. Brush back, I'll look at that. I'll sort of brush that floor, close in the back. Now to the side, same thing, side. See if they can do it. Close in the, yes. Two. Close in the, three. Close in the, four. Close in the, good. Plie down. Show me four changements. Go. One, two. So tight. Think about when you're jumping. We talked about this in class, guys. When we're jumping, if we jump with floppy knees and non-pointed feet, do we jump our, to our highest point? or not? Not. Not. So when we jump, we want to stretch through those knees and those feet so we can jump higher. Let's do that. Ready? Chandra one, stretch. Good. Two, stretch. Three, stretch. And four, landing nice and soft. Stretch. Good. Shake that. Excellent. Okay. Okay, guys. Here's your vocab question. What does Dega J mean? with the right foot.
de vous re, pas de vous re. And what you do with your feet is this foot goes back, side, front. Do this with me, switching hands. Back, side, front. Back, side, front. Back, side, front. So we will do it together and it will look not like a dancer and then we will make it look like a dancer. So I'm gonna pick up my right foot however I feel like it, step back. And I'm gonna step side with my other foot. Front with this foot. So each time I'm switching, I'll pick up my back foot. Back, side, front. 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 Now I'm gonna point my foot and put it in coupe. Back, side, front. Pick up my back foot. Back, side, front. Pick up my back foot. Now, um, if you've got this, we're gonna start to do it like a dancer. Hands on your hips though. Up on your toe, back, side, front. Pick up my back foot, coupe back. Back, side, front. Pick up my back foot, coupe back. Move the back foot, let's take it, yep. Back, side, front, coupe. Back, side, front, coupe. Back, side, front, coupe. Back, side, front, coupe. Start to go a little faster. Back, side, front, coupe. Back, side, front, coupe. Back, side, front, coupe. Back, side, front, coupe. And this is your pas de boubre. I would love to see a video of you getting this and practicing this pas de boubre. You think you got it, Ty? Can you think more show us? Pas de boubre? <laughs> He's got to practice a little. Okay, we're going to go across the floor. If you don't have a big space, do what you can. Just do one at a time of whatever we're working on. Let's start with our soutenus across the floor. Yeah? Okay, so start over on the side here. How do we do our soutenus? You are going to point your foot, tendu front. You rondage on. Remember, you've got your puppet string on your toe. You plie down. I rondage on with my puppet string. I'm going to go up on my toe, cross this foot over, unwind my feet, and come down to tendu. Puppet strings. Cross, unwind, and come down. Puppet strings. Cross, unwind, and come down. Okay, let's try this across the floor with the music. So see, now they have the other foot in front and ready, but they're going to open to the side, open your arm, cross in the front, turn and come down to Tondi front. Open, cross, turn, open, cross, turn, point your toe in between, tie if you can, up, cross, on, to on your toes as high as you can, and open, cross, turn. Hold our head back 
when we're turning and then flip it as fast as we can. What is that called? Harley? Spot. Spotting. 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 So, a fun exercise you guys could do at home. Take something to a wall. A picture. Yeah? Right at your eye level. So don't put it really low and don't put it really high. And then practice spotting. So you're just going to stand there and then look at that picture. Flip and find it. Look at that picture. Flip and find it. Look at that picture. Flip and find it. Flip and find it. And if you turn like six times, see how dizzy you are. And then try it without spotting and see how dizzy you are. So you are spotting, right? Okay. And that's just spin. Six times. Don't spot. Don't spot. Don't spot. Don't spot. spot. Uh-oh. They're going down. <laughs> A lot more dizzy, right? So that it's very important that we spot when we're, when we're turning and dance. Okay. We're going to do... Two, two more things, yeah? And then um, we'll be done with the class today, yeah? So let's practice our chasse's changing feet. We have this in our dance. So go to the corner for this one so you have a little more space. So we're gonna face forward, actually. So I go, right foot goes, step together, step. Then I'm gonna switch. Other foot, step, together, step. Switch, step, together, step. Switch, step, together, step. Switch, step, together, step. And you can do this all around the house. The one thing I want you to concentrate on is pointing your feet when you chasse. Harley, could you give us a good example of, of pointing your feet when you chasse? So every time she steps in between, she extends her foot out and points it. Yeah? Okay, Ty, you wanna try it? Ready, and go. Step together, step. Try to point in between, switch. Oh, you gotta switch feet. <laughs> step together, step. Point your other foot. Step together, step. It's hard, huh? Yeah? Okay, so I'm just gonna put on some music here and let you guys chasse for a minute, yeah?
a tie. Step, step, one more step. And lead. Now try to point that front foot so it doesn't look like this, yeah? But that's it. And step together, step. One more step and leap. That's it. Ready? Practicing at home. Go. Step together. Step, Harley. You've got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, you want my music? She said. I'm ready for the music. Here we go. Enjoying yourself at home. Please continue practicing. Sorry if our video skills aren't perfect yet. We're still working on it. Yeah. Um, and we love and miss you. See you soon. Hey, do the weekly challenge. This week is your favorite. Do a fun cardboard craft. There's lots of them on YouTube. And it's super fun. We love to see what you guys come up with. Okay. Bye.